The Outer Space Treaty, formerly the Treaty on Principles Governing the Activities of States in the Exploration and Use of Outer Space, including the Moon and other celestial bodies, is a treaty that forms the basis of international space law. The treaty was opened for signature in the United States, the United Kingdom, and the Soviet Union on 27 January 1967, and entered into force on 10 October 1967. As of February 2019, 108 countries are parties to the treaty, while another 23 have signed the treaty but have not completed ratification. In addition, Taiwan, which is currently recognized by 16 UN member states, ratified the treaty prior to the United Nations General Assembly's vote to transfer China's seat to the People's Republic of China in 1971. The Outer Space Treaty does not ban military activities within space or the weaponization of space, with the exception of the placement of weapons of mass destruction in space. <laughs> Key points The Outer Space Treaty represents the basic legal framework of international space law. Among its principles, it bars states party to the treaty from placing weapons of mass destruction in Earth orbit, installing them on the Moon or any other celestial body, or otherwise stationing them in outer space. It exclusively limits the use of the Moon and other celestial bodies to peaceful purposes and expressly prohibits the use for testing weapons of any kind, conducting military maneuvers, or establishing military bases, installations, and fortifications Article 4. However, the treaty does not prohibit the placement of conventional weapons in orbit and thus some highly destructive attack strategies such as kinetic bombardment are still potentially allowable. The treaty also states that the exploration of outer space shall be done to benefit all countries and that space shall be free for exploration and use by all the states. The treaty explicitly forbids any government to claim a celestial resource such as the Moon or a planet. Article 2 of the treaty states that, "...outer space, including the Moon and other celestial bodies, is not subject to national appropriation by claim of sovereignty, by means of use or occupation, or by any other means." However, the state that launches a space object retains jurisdiction and control over that object. The state is also liable for damages caused by its space object. <laughs> Responsibility for activities in space Article 6 of the Outer Space Treaty deals with international responsibility, stating that, "...the activities of non-governmental entities in outer space, including the Moon and other celestial bodies, shall require authorization and continuing supervision by the appropriate state party to the treaty." and that states parties shall bear international responsibility for national space activities whether carried out by governmental or non-governmental entities. As a result of discussions arising from Project West Ford in 1963, a consultation clause was included in Article 9 of the Outer Space Treaty, a state party to the treaty which has reason to believe that an activity or experiment planned by another state party in outer space, including the Moon and other celestial bodies, would cause potentially harmful interference with activities in the peace useful exploration and use of outer space, including the Moon and other celestial bodies, may request consultation concerning the activity or experiment. Article 
Topic: <laughs> Follow-ups. The Rescue Agreement of 1968. The Space Liability Convention of 1972. The Registration Convention of 1976. The Moon Treaty of 1979 was proposed after the Outer Space Treaty, but failed to be ratified by any major spacefaring nation such as those capable of orbital spaceflight. The United Nations Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space oversees these treaties and other questions of space jurisdiction. Topic Status Topic List of Parties The Outer Space Treaty was opened for signature in the United States, the United Kingdom, and the Soviet Union on 27 January 1967, and entered into force on 10 October 1967. As of February 2019, 108 countries are parties to the treaty, while another 23 have signed the treaty but have not completed ratification. Multiple dates indicate the different days in which states submitted their signature or deposition, which varied by location. This location is noted by L for London, M for Moscow, and W for Washington, D.C. Also indicated is whether the state became a party by way of signing the treaty and subsequent ratification, or by accession to the treaty after it had closed for signature. <laughs> Partially recognized state abiding by treaty The Republic of China Taiwan, which is currently only recognized by 16 UN member states, ratified the treaty prior to the United Nations General Assembly's vote to transfer China's seat to the People's Republic of China in 1971. When the PRC subsequently ratified the treaty, they described the Republic of China's ROC ratification as illegal." The ROC has committed itself to continue to adhere to the requirements of the treaty, and the United States has declared that they still consider them to be "...bound by its obligations". <laughs> States that have signed but not ratified 23 states have signed but not ratified the treaty. See also High altitude nuclear explosion Carmorn Line Lunar Flag Assembly Militarization of space Apollo 1 the first NASA astronaut spacecraft fatality occurred on the 27th of January 1967 the day the outer space treaty was signed space act of 2015